Hi everyone, it's Margaret here to share my latest journal that I just completed. Um, this journal is called L'Amour. Um, it's a very romantic journal and uh, it started out to be a pillow but somehow it uh, it turned into a, a fabric journal. I just love making these and uh, I just um, I just have so many doilies that I that I really have to use and uh, this particular journal uses a lot of doilies and um, as you can see this is the uh, the front page with the uh, beautiful um, uh, Victorian couple and um, they are holding hands and it's a very romantic uh, setting and what I did here was I, uh, I used a doily base um, uh, a crochet doily and then I built around it uh, using this uh, sash of uh, satin uh, satin ruching in a uh, in a taupey color which kind of picks up some of the uh, the taupe in the picture and then the picture itself I um, I just made a circle of ruffles around it and then just built up uh, pieces of uh, crocheted uh, snippets all around and I used a piece of uh, gorgeous rose colored ruffle trim for the uh, the top here and then I used again snippets of crocheted uh, doilies and what I did was I cut out all these little tiny petals and just built around a um, a round felt base and built up the flower and then used this uh, beautiful uh, pearl and rhinestone uh, uh, center. Um, I had dyed some ribbon in a pretty pink and cream color and I put that underneath the uh, the crocheted flower and that gives us give, gives it a bit of um, of color and I just love the tones of the pink and the creams in this um, the base here uh, on the cover page uh, I use this uh, beautiful fringe underneath the flower and then I had a doily with this gorgeous um, trim that I had avocado dyed in a in a pretty pink and I used a, um, a trim that I had bought in the city. I've never seen this particular trim before, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I, um, I layered it. And then again, taking some snippets from some doilies, I created these little dangles just by, by cutting them out. And then again, layering them on top of the, uh, of the main trim of the front page. So there you have the the cover. The first page, again, um, it's a beautiful couple, uh, young couple, and um, in a very romantic scene. Again, the picture has some pinks and creams and greens in it, which I really love. And I had this uh, beautiful um, cutout applique, which I snipped in two portions, uh, using one on the top and one on the bottom. Again, um, I had uh, dyed this in a in a light pink, and um, then underneath here I used a doily with the double uh, a double row of these ruffles, and I just love these particular doilies. They really fill. Uh, fill out nicely when you're using it as um, as trim work. A little ruffle on the top here to give it some texture. I made um, a little um, two little uh, roses in a in a in a uh, silky material. And again, I repeated the um, the pink ruffle on the bottom, and used this uh, beautiful um, dangle trim um, on the bottom here again and it's just layers and layers of yumminess here. And there's that page. The next page, again, it's um, a beautiful vintage couple uh, using, again, the same color base, the pinks and the greens and the creams. And what I did was I used some um, fringe, little tiny fringe trim on this corner and then using a frame um, from another doily uh, with these little um, little balls crocheted into it. I used that as the actual frame. Then I used some curtain snippets 
to uh, and I anchored them um, on um, on the on the edge with some covered buttons and on this side you can see I used a little shabby chic uh, ribbon ribbon uh, flower um, I made this little crocheted uh, flower out of um, uh, the doilies again with this beautiful uh, pearl button in the center this corner here um, I I did a little uh, couple of rows of this pretty trim that I layered on top of each other with this dangle trim, very vintage, very tattered looking. And then underneath again, there's some tassel trim here. And underneath is this beautiful, um, beautiful trim that I uh, put a ribbon through in a nice beautiful cream color. So it's uh, very, very textured and very, very rich. This is a, it's a real heavy journal. It's very thick and it took a while to make but it's so much fun to layer and see what you can come up with just by adding pieces here and there. So that's that page. Um, the next page is the doily page. Um, again what I've done I've used some curtain appliques on the bottom layered those and then I had this uh, beautiful tassel um, tassel piece from a doily that I've added on the bottom which is really pretty and then I just layered um, a few uh, doilies on top of each other and it's just it's just so thick and, 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 and rich and then I made this crocheted flower using uh, some doily petals and used this little bling and pearl um, in um, button in the center. Uh, here on the top again these uh, little cutouts are from a curtain that I had uh, and this piece also is from a curtain trim so I snipped out another variation of it put it on the top and used the covered buttons to fill in the little gaps the little holes so there you have that page. Now the center um, the other side of the spine is just done with a um, uh, like a braid a braid um, um, uh, trim dyed in pink again using the same flowers from the uh, curtain I used it in the center with little tiny flowers um, in and um, that have been stained and it's got a little pearl in the center and then I left some dangle uh, of the same on a ribbon on a ribbon trim and I made a little uh, rhinestone uh, ribbon um, uh, feature on the very last uh, flower so that dangles and it's uh, it's very pretty the next page is again another beautiful romantic uh, couple and um, I use that as the uh, as the focal point and then I added um, a strip of uh, cream colored uh, wedding dress applique which had been stained and then in the corner I added a uh, a ruffle trim and then I created it in a little pocket adding a little uh, trim on top with some dangle pearls here and a couple of rows of ruffles and I made this uh, flower again out of crocheted, uh, crocheted doilies, snipped them out. This has been again dyed with avocado and a little rhinestone uh, bling in the center. And there you can see that page. The next page, once again, these uh, these pictures were, were actually all done by the same artist and uh, it... Um, it just keeps it uh, nice and matching um, the theme and I like that so uh, just one sec this is again the um, another little vintage couple and on the top I put um, this beautiful uh, cream applique which covers the corner the side and the bottom it's got some beautiful uh, peach colored pearls in it and then this is a wedding dress uh, applique that was dyed use that uh, to fill out the corner um, with a little bow made out of uh, seam binding, a little pearl in the center, and then this little um, 
dangle uh, grape trim that I used layering here and on the top and the rever um, on the upside down um, mode here and uh, on the top I added this little snippet from a uh, again it was one of those curtain appliques a little bit of pink so I tried to coordinate a little bit of pink and cream on this page and then I added strands of pearls to accent this little uh, pink leaf on the top so that's that page the pocket page um, it's a little different um, I had found this uh, on a curtain and it's just a strip of applique here and it was actually uh, the center was uh, had orange and green uh, flowers and leaves on it and I wanted to tone that down so what I did was I just layered uh, pieces of um, uh, leaves and flowers in a whitish cream so I, I glued those on the top to camouflage the uh, the ugly colors and then I just uh, built on top of that adding a applique with some pearls and as you can see now it becomes a beautiful little little pocket here you can put some uh, little notes or uh, little items in there on the on the bottom here I used a little cream colored um, bow and in the very corner here I love how this turned out it's actually um, layers of uh, pieces of uh, a doily that had a round edge so I used that in the corner built it up and then underneath that I added this um, this uh, fringe trim which is really pretty added a little bit of lace on the edges of the um, of the little uh, scallop pieces and then a couple of rows of um, pearls to accent the corner so the pocket page was uh, quite simple I repeated this particular applique in the corner here it's quite simple but it's pretty and different I really love how that turned out the back is pretty uh, it's just pretty plain um, just showcase the um, the actual uh, uh, lace cream lace that I used as the base and here you again you can see the the dangles um, which is really really pretty you can see these little snippets again that I've used um, on every single flower accented the center with a little rosette and use the curtain appliques to uh, to finish the edging here now the spine and as you can see it's look at that it's really thick it's it's really heavy the spine is um, I had these uh, bows that I had uh, reserved from, um, I believe that was a wedding dress, and I repeated the, um, the same uh, braid trim um, on the base, and again that was dyed in pink, and then I simply added these uh, crisscross bows um, all down the side, and it's just so beautiful. I really loved how that turned out. The colors are just gorgeous because they complement each other so it's um, it's all done in this beautiful pink and creams which I love it's very romantic so this is my L'Amour um, journal and uh, I hope you guys like it and uh, again it was a lot of fun to make it and I'm just I'm just uh, I love holding it and touching this particular one every once in a while I go back and have a little a little look at it so Thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you again soon with another project. Bye for now.